Activity three is specifically about Fields and Coulomb's law. Okay, so this one is a little confusing. So please make sure that you're reading the reading and following the pictures as you go. So the first thing is we have our charges here. So we have a red charge and it draws the field. So notice it's a positive charge. So all the field lines go away from the positive. Okay, and if I put a negative, all the field lines go towards the negative. I put a positive and a negative. You can actually see how they go from positive to negative and how they're actually connected to each other. Okay, and then I can do like charges. And if I put them together, you can see how they actually don't, there's a point where they actually like don't link up with each other. Okay, they, they actually push apart. So just follow the directions. So there's a picture that tells you what to do, what to drag out onto the screen and then tell me what's going on for each of these setups. So you're gonna do multiple setups and it's gonna ask you some very simple questions, okay? So just read the questions. The blue is the directions, follow the directions. You're gonna have some comp more complex charge setups, okay? So the basics are for you to, you should know what those are gonna be even without using the gizmo. Down here, you may not know what that's gonna look like. So use the gizmo to help you. Field lines are showing us what the possible future force might be, and we can actually measure what that force might be using Coulomb's, Coulomb's law, okay? And, and that's a simple way to say it. So you're gonna read this statement about charge and how we find equipotential, and we're gonna map these things out following these directions, okay? So let's go take a look at the controls for this. And just so you kind of got an idea what's going on. So you got these boxes over here. So you're going to do, we don't want the grid values, voltage. Okay. So we're going to take this out here and we can click the pencil icon and it's going to draw a, a line that shows what the potential is. So Coulomb's law is based on distance. And so the closer you are, the number is much bigger. So the potential force is much bigger because you're closer to the charge, okay? Now, if I put multiple charges out there, actually, I'm gonna turn these the field lines off for a minute. If I put multiple charges out there, I can actually map out the potential force. So when we say potential, you need to think potential energy, but we're also thinking potential force between these particles, okay? And so you can kind of see what these are. You can actually, there we go, values. So notice there's a negative potential because these are negative charges and this is a positive charge, we have positive potential. Okay, the one thing, other thing you need to know is um, you can also do the eraser to erase the pencil to draw the line. And you're basically just gonna read that, that, and you're also probably going to do some measuring. So you can take the tape measure and you can put the plus. If you put it on the center of the charge, see how it kind of matches up with the white plus, the little red plus there? And you can drag it to the center of the next charge and you can actually measure the distance. So that's kind of how the controls work, okay? Just read carefully and follow the directions. Um, most of this is, um, remember, we're putting in a positive test charge. What's going to happen to the charge? So if I take a positive test charge and put it right here, what's most likely going to happen? Positive and positive, like charges, what, what's going to happen? Okay, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, but you can, if you really understand how that works, you probably, you may not even have to do the gizmo to actually figure that out. Take a look at that, make sure you read the directions carefully.